So Louis, why should anyone start a food forest? Talk, talk to it as though it's me. I'm coming to you and I'm saying, right, I'm really interested. So you're going to convince me, why should I do it? Into your subconscious or conscious mind and really dig, what's your dream in life? Eh? Um, starting a, a project eh, on your land is really about fulfilling your dream. So that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the first things that's on a personal level. But um, I think we've come into uh, a time in, the, in this world where we can do things for ourselves, but we can maybe only be happy if we do things for the planet mm -hmm. and for the other people too. And one of the biggest reasons you have to, yeah, or we have to change the way we treat our land is because there are a lot of imbalances in the world. I'm quickly going through them, one of the balance, imbalances we all know is the we have too much CO2 in the atmosphere, yep. we all know that, mm -hmm. and we have not, not enough, enough. Uh -huh. carbon in the soil. Mm -hmm. And but the, the, the second one, we, it's not really mainstream that people know that, but so too much there, we all know it mm -hmm. by now, but not enough, not enough. here. Yep. So these are rocks. Mm -hmm. This is how our planet started. It was one mm -hmm. big rock. And how did this rock became soil, do you know? No. So. Erosion? Ah. Erosion. It became smaller, but even if it would become smaller, it would still be dust. So it came to life. So with new, I mean, it has nutrients. Soil has nutrients. Yeah. But so, yeah. so the, the nutrients are in here. Um, but those little animals that came out of the sea, they came to land, they died, and their remains, which is carbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 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 on here. So I'm right. not sure. Have you ever like uh, placed a bucket outside for a year and then? Later on, there were like plants growing into it? No, not for a year, but I, I, I love the fact that you asked me whether I'd placed a bucket. I haven't done that, but I can imagine. I've placed it for less than a year and seen movement, yeah. if that's, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, and life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. so automatically things come to life. So this, yeah. we're standing on the road here. If you leave this road, it will become full of flowers, yes. uh, grasses, and even trees. Sometimes if you drive through, a, through the city, you see an abandoned building, you see some trees yes, growing on absolutely. the roof. And, and that's um, what happens. Eh? So we inherited an earth. I'm going to take some soil right now. Okay. So, so we inherited this mm -hmm. because nature formed this over the ages, but we turned it back into this and we turned it into dust. So as we can see here, mm -hmm. this is earth, or this should be earth, but we, we inherited this and we put and it into it, this. Yeah. And how do we do it? We do it with by, by plowing the soil. Every time we plow the soil, this carbon goes in the air, mm -hmm. and then au revoir, bye bye. Okay. We only have this left and this is dead. We cannot grow food on this okay. thing. Those, that's a big Im imbalance we have to fix. Yeah. We have to put this carbon back into okay. the soil. And we have to do this to solve the second imbalance and that's the imbalance of water. So we're standing here on a road. This is paved. Mm -hmm. Water cannot go through it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So there is not enough water underground. Yeah. And sometimes there's too much just, yeah, on the water top. on yeah. the top. Yeah. So yeah. we have to find a way to bring this water from the top to here. Yeah. We also seen the, the news of mm -hmm. huge floodings yeah. everywhere in the world um, because there's too much here and not enough yeah. here. And it cannot go through. Why? Yeah. Is it because it's all paved? Mm. No, because if you look around, we see agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can it just infiltrate there? You would ask. Well, it can't. Every time you plow, you make like a concrete floor and it's so hard that roots kind of go through it and you create like one bath. So water just stagnates. Yeah, just, yeah, and just so sits. what do we do as a farmer? We uh, put drainage into it to suck the water out of it. But then in the summer, you do not have enough water. Yeah. You pump the water that's below the ground, the, the, the reserves. Mm -hmm. We pump it so much that it's some places like uh, it's been going now for more than 100 meters. Right. And it doesn't come back. Okay. So there's a lot, there's an awful lot of energy and effort in correcting the imbalance that yeah. actually shouldn't, I mean, that there's ways to correct that that, are, that take less energy and have better 
outcomes and that yeah. what I understand because you sort of say well there's all of this activity which for me echoes with what you said you know it's this annual it's this annual and what you're yeah. with this when we look at you know a food forest it's 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 much longer term there is a respect for what nature is naturally doing yeah. let it find its course and just going back to my initial question why do it um i think in your answer you also said people are much more aware of what's going on we saw it with the flooding it is there i mean we we know about climate change anyway and the notion of living with the land so it is becoming more than just something you could tinker with yeah. it is becoming something that's viable actually yeah. viable to have that kind of lifestyle and also in cities too but maybe we'll touch on that a bit yeah, later exactly